Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to draw straight lines and to use guides within Photoshop. So, so in order to draw a straight line whenever you have a pencil tool or a brush tool selected over here on the left, uh, normally you draw and it's kind of freehand. But if you have that tool selected and you hold shift down while you're drawing with either your tablet or your mouse, it's going to give you a perfectly straight line and the direction you start in. So we can do the same thing starting from the left and going over to the right, getting a perfectly straight line there. And if we switch over to the pencil tool, we can get the same kind of results. Now that's all well and good if you need to approximate where that line's going to go. But if you need absolute precision, like if you're doing web design, then you should probably have guides set up. So in order to add guides, which we can snap to whenever we use the brush or the pencil tool, we go up to the view menu at the top, and we choose new guide from the bottom. You can also click the drop down and go to new guide layout if you want to have a set of guides for a specific purpose. And you can save these guide layouts as presets, and you can also load them up from other places. So that is a really quick way to get started if you need a specific setup. Um, but if you just want to add a single guide, we choose View and New Guide from the drop-down menu. You can choose either Horizontal or Vertical. Now by default, this guide is going to be in inches because that's also what our ruler, which is currently invisible, is set to. So if we want to change that, we can show the ruler by hitting Ctrl R or using the View menu. We can right-click on the ruler and change it over to Pixels instead of Inches. Now if we go back into the new guide layout, it's going to give us the position in terms of pixels. And if we know how many pixels are in our document, so here it's 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels low, we can just do some simple math in order to, say, get it in the center of the document. So one half of 1920 is going to be uh, 960 pixels. And if I hit OK here, we have a vertical line going top to bottom, but it's moved over 960 pixels, creating us a perfect guideline that's halfway across the document. So we can do the same thing as well with um, horizontal guidelines. So 1080 divided by 2 is going to be 540 pixels. So there we get a horizontal line. Now you might notice uh, these guidelines we've created are at the center of the document, which means that uh, by default, if you're moving layers or images around, you can already snap to those inside of Photoshop, uh, but you can't actually snap a brush or a pencil stroke without having these guidelines. So now that we have these guidelines, we can snap to the guidelines if we enable it. So in order to enable guide snapping, we go to View, Snap to, Guides, but it looks like it's already enabled here, so we don't need to worry about that here. And now if we use a white color with the pencil tool and drag across, it's going to automatically snap here. So note that I'm not holding the shift button down at all. Now to show a comparison, I'll just try to draw a straight line uh, freehand with the mouse. And let's go down a little bit. And you can see, <laughs> whoops, you can see that you're going to run into some issues if you don't have any snapping enabled. So once again, we'll try to draw a straight line on this vertical uh, guideline. Note that my mouse is wavering a bit, but uh, overall it's still doing a pretty good job there. Uh, we can use the eraser tool to fix any minor mistakes we might make though. Here I'll just erase that bit and we'll continue drawing with the pencil tool. And there you go. Now, uh, of course, you can create the guidelines at any point you want, so it doesn't need to be any particular multiple of the base document size. You can just do 250 pixels and start drawing down that again. Probably easier to do this with a drawing tablet, by the way, than a mouse, but that's what I'm working with right now. And as you can see, the guidelines would go a long way in uh, helping you to draw straight. But also you can snap images to these guidelines. So if you needed to frame a, a, an image that you bring in uh, perfectly within your document, maybe for web design, uh, then these guidelines will really help you out a lot. So that's the basics of using guidelines and drawing straight lines inside of Photoshop CC 2018. So I hope this video has helped you out. I've been Chris, and I will see you guys in my future Photoshop content.